Hello, I am your teacher, Gary Vernier. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, you are going to learn how to use the present perfect tense in affirmative sentences in English. Let's begin with what you already know, the present perfect in Spanish. In Spanish, to make a sentence in the present perfect tense, you have to follow this formula. Sujeto más haber más el participio de verbo. Here are some examples. Yo he terminado. Tú has terminado. Ella has terminado. Ellos han terminado. Nosotros hemos terminado. You can easily see how in Spanish we change the verb haber to correspond to the subject and add either ado o ido to the end of the verb. Simple. So what do we do with verbs in English to form the present perfect tense? The answer is also simple. In English, you follow the exact same formula. Subject plus to have plus the participle of the verb. Let's look at some examples. I have played, you have played, she has played, they have played, we have played. So, to repeat, the formula is the exact same in Spanish as it is in English, to speak in the present perfect tense. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to identify sentences in the present perfect tense in affirmative sentences in English. Okay, now that you understand the formula for the present perfect tense in English, let's look at the parts of the formula with more detail. First, the word haber in Spanish means to have in English. However, in English, you must be very careful. If the subject is I, you, we, or they, you use the word have in the present perfect. If the subject is he, she, or it, you use the word has in the present perfect. Here are some examples. I have played, you have played, we have played, they have played. But she has played, he has played, it has played. Next the participle of verbs in English. The participle is very easy to form if and only if the verb is regular. If the verb is regular, you just add ed like in the past tense. That's simple. Here are a few examples. Verb in the present finish, in the past finished, in the participle finished. Talk, talk, talked. Simple, right? However, as you learn with the verbs in the past tense, there are many irregular forms. Unfortunately, most of the common verbs that are used in everyday speech are irregular. So if the verb is irregular, how do you form the participle of the verb? That's a good question. And the truth is, there is no answer. They are all different. You simply have to learn, study, and memorize them. Sorry. Here are some examples of irregular verbs. Speak in the past is spoke, the participle spoken. The verb go in the past is went, in the participle is gone. The verb begin in the past tense, began in the participle begun. The list of irregular verbs is very, very long, but it is your job to learn them. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to form the present perfect tense in affirmative sentences in English. Congratulations! Now you know how to form affirmative sentences in the present perfect tense. I will see you back here again for the next lesson. Good luck!